Yeah, I do. Okay, there we go. I've been with this chick I met at a nail salon, bringing my current girlfriend at the time. And I... Oh, thank God. Before and after my girlfriend was there, and she was still the one doing her nails for weeks. We thought it was hot as fuck. Wait, what do you mean? Wait. Uh... Wait, so you, you, you're saying that your girlfriend was letting you bang another girl? Bro. I hope that's not what you're saying, dude. That's fucking... That girl's for the streets. Thank you for the gifted sub, Yuki. It's... She didn't know, yeah. but Daryl, that's fucked, dude. I do not rec... I strongly advise against that, man. As a guy who has gone through that, that's a ship that you don't want to sail. It's a ship you don't want to sail. That's fucked up, Daryl. That's fucked up, man. You're gonna fucking regret that, man. Every guy regrets that. Every guy. Yeah, that's fucked up, Daryl. It doesn't matter about them finding out. Like, it's just, it's gonna ruin your life, bro. And maybe right now it doesn't seem like anything when I say that, but there'll be a day where you're like, fuck, that random streamer guy was right. Because I know I'm fucking right, dude. I know I'm right. That's just talking from experience. Are you for like two hours already? Something like that. That's just speaking oh, from God. experience. It's just not a good oh, look, God, dude. No. It's not a good oh, look. God, though. What's wrong with just being a one, you know, boss man? Dude, meeting? a harem is every guy's dream? Not really, man. Alright, I'll subscribe to him? What do you mean? Subscribe to who? No, no. Harem is whenever they know about each other and they all approve of each other. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, yeah. Brooke is better. Yeah, it's not really mine either, dude. You get older, you're kind of just past that it's shit. Somewhere Cheating on your fucking oh, girlfriend yeah. is the dumbest shit you could ever do, dude. It is just the dumbest thing you could ever do. I'm 25 scared. and game is game, bro. You're probably fucking whacked, dude. No fucking way, dude. That's disgusting. I guess I should have grown out. Yeah, you should have. Usually, by if you haven't grown out of it by 22, dude, you gotta fucking... You gotta figure it out, man. It's just a bad look for yourself, man. Might as well just run darts. And get rid of the smoke round. No, I like the smoke round, though. Okay, but statistically, marriage counts for over 60 women admit to cheating during a marriage. Can you think of what they do in a relationship? I'm just liberating. Just Dude, Daryl, do you see how you're contributing to it? You don't see how you contribute to the statistic? Dude, you're, it's such a skewed perspective you're shitting out here. Like, it's, it's so skewed because you don't understand the fact that if girls, like guys that act the way you are acting are only going to get girls that are in that statistic. Like, you're, ne parts. you're never gonna get a, a real good girl when you act like that. That's the, that's what you people don't understand when you're, like, a guy that sleeps with a lot of girls. Like, if you have, like, a game-is-game game mentality, you're never gonna find a good girl in your life, dude. You're never gonna find a good girl. Because all... Here's the thing. If you are a guy that talks to a lot of girls, girls fucking talk. Girls talk. So when they find out that you're the guy that goes around with a lot of girls, you're gonna get less than stellar girls. You're not gonna get a good girl ever. Like, dude, you're just you're never gonna find a girl that's not in that statistic if you yourself talk to a lot of girls. Cause you're only gonna find girls that talk to a lot of guys. Daryl, that's so skewed, bro. You're 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 talking like someone that has absolutely no experience with actual girls. Awesome. Oh shit, it is Gareth. Like you're doing the very thing that you're bitching about girls do. You're, you, you, it's just, it's, it's very narcissistic and hypocritical. You're, you're getting, you, you're talking about girls doing it when you yourself are doing it. Like it's, it's incredibly hypocritical and it just, it, it's gonna bite you in the ass because karma exists, dude. Like God exists. Like that shit eats you up and it's gonna eat you alive. And when you fucking realize it, that all the fucking good girls in your life are gone, they all know that you're a fucking cheating loser. Be, they're never gonna. Me, they're never gonna talk to you again. And you're never gonna. You're never gonna get a, an actual girl that's not like that because you're known as the guy who cheats on his girl. You're known as the guy who sleeps around, dude. And you're probably not gonna see it now. You probably think I'm fucking talking shit right now, but I'm not, dude. I'm talking to you through experience. I'm talking to you from a real life, ex like a real life experience, and how it fucking works. The girls that you want, you're never gonna get. You're only gonna get girls that are part of that statistic. Producer, want to find the statistic? Even the perfect woman will likely divorce you. No, Daryl, you do not see the hypocrisy in your statement, dude. That's that's literally like that percentage you're saying, but you're the kind of guy they're with. They're gonna divorce a guy like you. Like, that's the thing, bro. All the guys who are in those 52% of divorces are guys like you. And it's the same thing with girls, dude. Those people that fuck around 
with all these multiple people wind up together. They always wind up together. Because that's what they Thank attract. They you attract what Thank you God are, they man. Do. You attract what you are, and that's what you're gonna get. If you that are fucking around with multiple girls, you're gonna get girls that fuck around with multiple guys, and it's never not gonna happen. And get divorced on the perfect woman? A guy giving 190% of himself to a girl is not gonna fucking get divorced like that, dude. It's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry, you're fucking up. You're doing something wrong. You're not. Either you're neglecting, you're not trying. It, dude, it's so fucking easy to keep a girl happy. It is so easy. Girls are easy to keep happy. When we took an IED and Iraq came home, she divorced him three years later. Dude, people are so quick to get into relationships. They're not thinking to, like, you don't fucking marry someone you met last oh, week. Shit. And don't even tell me people in the military don't shit, marry quickly. Shit, shit. Of course they do. Yeah. People in the military it's marry too fucking, fucking quick. Got kills. Holy shit. What? What? Shit, I didn't see any of that on the kill feed. Yeah, I killed uh, a drone, I think two. Like, if you you're, know, if, if you, you're if a you guy, if steal. you're a guy without morals, you're not a fucking guy at all. Just I like having my cake and eating it too, which is exactly why you'll never get what you want in life, bro. You'll never get what you want, and it's gonna hit you like a fucking train in 10 years. Yeah, Daryl, I mean, maybe you should do therapy, dude. That might be the answer for you, man, because your thought process is so skewed, and I wish that... I, I really pray that maybe one day you could see the lack of accountability you're holding yourself to and how it destroys your fundamentals as a man, and it makes you it, it makes you deserve less. And, and look, that's a hard thing to do, right? To just, you know, man up and take some accountability for some things. And it's a, it's just a humbling experience. It's just a, like it's tough. It's not the easiest thing to do, but like when you do it, like you're all the better for it. You're always all the better for it. 